talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! There we go. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, I got a bunch. All right, folks, I'm uh, throwing the casting. Oh my God, a bunch of shad. Hell yeah. Oh my God, that's excellent bait. They're one and a half inches. I'm using these for bait. Oh my gosh. Honey, come look. I got like 10 shad. They're all perfect size, inch and a half long. I just found a place to get shad, guys. Wow, should have brought my bubbler. Come look, honey. Oh my God, I got like 10 of them. Perfect size, they're an inch and a half long. Gizzard shad, you talk about perfect bait right here for both in. Oh yeah, that explains why there's such big fish in here now. It's absolutely nuts how, oh my God, a bow fin right there. He chased my lure all the way to the bank. Oh my God. He came all out of nowhere and followed my lure to the side and then turned around. Oh man. God. <laughs> Jesus. I wouldn't have probably had a prayer with him on this rod. Maybe he wasn't real big, but it was a nice bow fin. God. Oh yeah. Oh. Proppy. Hey, hey. Black crappie. All right, folks, I got my first crappie of the evening. I caught him on a Charlie Brewer slider grub, black with a chartreuse tail. I think it's the two inch model, maybe even just one and three quarters with a one eighth ounce plain jig head and a spinner added to it. Wanna keep them? Not too bad of one, not bad at all. Shad on. They're small enough that they should work if they're still alive. Yeah, barely. A shad and a bobber. 20 pound braid. I'll either get a nice, really nice crappie or a bowfin. I'm doing like Richard Dean does. Just hooking them right through the nostril. Like that. To keep them alive. I'm gonna put this right in front of the gutter where I was catching the crappie last week. I'm just being patient. We're waiting and watching. If I 
bucket of fish is probably going to be a pretty nice one, is my guess. In here, oh, it's a bullhead. It's a big bullhead, though. Hey. Oh, man. It's walled the hook. She's got a really big black bullhead, guys. Fat little thing. Uh, you're gonna, I, I gotta pay attention to my, Bob, I have a bad feeling you, that he swallowed the hook. With a bobber, huh? God. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> Uh, you have to cut the line. Oh my God! There was a gar hanging on it. He was real little, like eight inches long. Just sitting there gnawing on it. No wonder I wasn't getting a real bite. He was hanging on to it. That's a big bullhead, guys. My goodness. Yeah, that's a that's a monster for a bullhead. Hold on. I'll get a close up of you. It's really big for a bullhead, anyway. Good God. Like a pound. <laughs> Okay. It is big for that kind. Oh, I gotta watch this pole. You put it right by my shad. <laughs> oh, I got something. Oh, yeah. Got it. I think it's a big bluegill. See, they're starting to bite. Man, that is a nice bluegill. Goodness. It just took a little while. Whoa, something stirred up over there big time. Both in. That's a nice bluegill there. Every one in here is big. Every bluegill, almost 90% of them are eating size, guys. It's crazy. Nice little bluegill. What do you got? Oh man, you got a both in. No, it's a large mouth. Let me get it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hold on. That's a nice large mouth, Wilma. I'll get it. Ugh, damn. Got it. Man, that's nice for in here. Wow. She's got a nice large mouth out of here, guy. Biggest one I've seen out of this cypress swamp. That guy wasn't kidding around. He goes, there's big bass in here, and I kind of shrugged it off, thinking he was full of it. The thing is, there's no spotted bass in here. They're all large mouth. That's a nice one. I thought, I thought she had a bow fin. Real healthy, yeah, look how fat it is. Real nice bass. Here, hold it up for us. I'll zoom in. It's a real nice one. This place just keeps giving us better and better surprises each time we find out there's shad in here today. And we just found out there's decent largemouth in here, guys. Real healthy. It's real fat. Good bass. Yeah. Man, that's a fat one. Yeah, you're too close because I'm zoomed. Okay, good job, honey. Yeah, 
Oh, 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 oh. I got a surprise too. Hopefully something like that or a big crappie. I can get through them gar. That's what stealing my shad earlier. Oh, this might be something decent. We're about to find out, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna get this bass back in. That's a really nice large mouth for a little sniper swamp. Anyway, I'm real impressed with this place. Each time we learn something different and we always get surprised by something. It's a real nice one, man. See, we just got lucky a little bit right before dark. There we go. Oh man, oh, big old drum. No, it's a bass again, the same one, the same bass. I got redemption, folks. That is the bass that got off earlier. Sure is, it is the same exact fish. Boy, I need my dip net over here. What'd you do with it? Is it laying in the grass? Boy, I got him though. All right. Yes, I got the bass that broke my lure earlier, guys. How about that with a worm and bobber? Right where this rice runoff comes back in, discharges back into the river. Nice large mouth, man, he's a fat one. It's a big one, real big. This is a big large mouth, fat. And I was just sitting there getting bluegill pecks right when he bit it, I thought it was just a bluegill. Man, now that's a beauty, guys. Oh yeah. Boy, that thing is fat and girthy. Woo! All right, it paid off. Yes. Wow. All right, let's see what else I can get. I thought it was a drum at first, and then I realized this is the same exact bass that I lost earlier. That's crazy. Unless there's a bunch of them in here, there could be. I could get more. Man, it's a big bass. Oh my God, I got another one, a giant, oh, channel cat. It felt real big because that water's so swift. Look at his spots though, real pretty spots. All right, folks, I got a channel cat this time. Little, little bitty one, but it's real pretty because it's still got its black spots. I kind of like them when they look like this. Real big freckles. Nice catch. Oh man, wow. Whoa, that is a nice long ear, guys. Four fish, four kinds. Really awesome long ear sunfish. He's really orange and kind of a unique one. It's not like a bright red like I'm used to in the clear Ozark streams. This is more of a light orange pumpkin color with a lot of blue. Cool looking, really cool looking. 
All right. Nice little sunfish. I love when you don't know what you got on the other end. When you're fishing a place that's just a surprise every cast. It's got 20 different species and you don't know which one's on there. That's what kind of fishing I like. Because you never know. The next fish could be a crappie. It could be a bowfin. It could be a flathead. It just It's always the mystery. Until you really get it in, you can't guess. Because there's so many kinds in here. Warm mouth, red ear. Bite back. Hopefully he's still there and still bites. That was definitely a large mouth. There he is. I got him. <laughs> he was still there. Uh, not big, but it's a bass. Another largemouth. Largemouth number two. No spots. Alright. Bass number two. Little guy. But hey. We're doing, we're having fun today. That's what it's all about. Oh, nice bluegill. All right. Not huge, but it's nice. Nice little bluegill. Nice male. Eating size. Alright. Let's see, let's try to get that big fish out of that rock though. I think it's a drum, but I'll take him. My god. 